So how'd you get in UFC though? Like how do they recruit you? How do they find it? Were they just looking at the Pancras guys and, and they kind of would go from there? No, actually UFC, uh, I found it through one of my uh, fighters in the lion's den brought me this, uh, this flyer about this no holes barred. And I was kind of like, nah, man, that's pro wrestling. Anything says no holes barred. That's all pro wrestling stuff. And he says, no, they you should look at this tape and everything. And they, so they started showing this tape of Gracie and all them, how they were beating guys and they would make this challenge. And of course I was already the champion over in Japan. And I was like, how do I get into this? And so there was a number and I remember calling and Art Davies was the one I talked to and kind of told him who I was. And he did some background checks and he got back to me and said, you're in. And so that's how I got in was that I was already doing it in Japan. And then here they had this thing they were talking about. They were doing, which the Gracie's were doing for 50 years of, you know, fighting people in their gyms and challenging anybody and they were winning. And so I didn't even hear about it or know about it, any of this stuff. And so for, for me, when I first went into the UFC, it was all new to me i didn't know who these guys were i knew i was a champion in japan i just felt like nobody else knew what i knew of course when i when i got in there i realized that i wasn't the only one that could grapple <laughs> right yeah i feel like there was no tape on anybody you know what i mean like they, they would like now people study tape what does the guy do what are the tendencies that not then there's none of that stuff you couldn't you couldn't pull up anything. I mean, I get Gracie's had it out there where they were showing that like, they were making these challenges, but you didn't get enough of to look at to be able to dissect anything and really understand what they were doing uh, until you actually got in and fought them. And so we, everybody was at a disadvantage going into that tournament because this is what they did. This is what they understood. And everybody else was walking into their their wheelhouse like this is what they knew how to do. So we were all being led to slaughter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and I, and again, I don't want to get people to wrong, but I thought what they did was genius 